Welcome to Red Carpet TV Nigeria. Kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. For coverage of events, you can call any of the numbers in the description box. Thank you and enjoy our videos. The atmosphere quivered as breezy binge of bliss besieged the amphitheater of Abo Point, Victoria Island, Lagos, with suffice of lyrical composition by Rotimi Akinlamilo that captured the captivating nature of Idori and its great people. <laughs> of joy and the felicity of mood that were freely contagious at the venue spoke volume of the impressive assembly and the expressive life of a man who lived his life to the fullest that was mr clement adekunle oluo konde who passed on at the age of 76. <laughs> a multi-talented accountant, financial expert, and renowned administrator called it quit in life at a time when his ovation was loudest. <laughs> and a reborn professional, Oluo Kondi had for several years carved a respectable niche for himself, his families, and engraved his name in the Nigeria's economic community. After pulling his career at the Federal Ministry of Information, Ikoi, as a graphics arts technician in 1963, he joined the technical telegraph session of cable and wireless, which later became Nigeria External Telecommunication, NET. In 1969, Oluo Konde joined the then British Paint Nigeria Limited, now Badger Paint, as an assistant accountant. By virtues of his strong work ethics, excellent spirit, and acute intelligence, he was appointed the finance director of the company. He made his mark, and by 1992, he was promoted as managing director of Badger Paint. His tenure as managing director CEO witnessed a round of success which drew the outfit to the pinnacle of paints industry in Nigeria. Consequently, he was appointed the chairman of the company upon his retirement in 2001. In 2002, Oluo Konde was invited by his friend, Chief Michael Adeojo, to chair the board of RT Bisco Nigeria Limited. He held the chairmanship positions of both companies till 2014 when he finally stepped down from the corporate world. All through his career, this Edenry-born technocrat demonstrated an uncommon professionalism, dedication to duty, and rare intellectual sagacity. He was highly social, charismatic, and compelling, which regularly endeared people to him. He was a selfless humanitarian who lived the rest of his life in service of God and man. This therefore explains the frenetic farewell that accompanied his exit at the age of 76. <laughs> It began with a Christian wake keep on Thursday, October 31st at the Archbishop Vining Hall as lifting songs wafted across the arena. <laughs> the cross session of faces and incursion of social guests, which comprised families, friends, colleagues, church brethren, and community folks 
bore a reflection of the likable personality of the late Clement Olou Kondé. <laughs> Scriptural lessons were taken and tributes were paid by both Idanri descendants and Christian Friends Society, which he was a pioneering member. In his short exaltation, the retired bishop, Right Reverend Shegun Adeyemi, described him as a selfless man. The homely, which was greeted with resounding hymn, drew the way keep service to a close. <laughs> the following day, guests reassembled at the main bowl of the auditorium for an outing service of a life well lived. Delectable in death and captivating in casket, Paolo Conde's lifeless body was full of life as families and friends took a final view of him before the final journey home. was led into the church by a pack of priests in their pristine cassock. It was a wonderful time in the presence of God. Clouded with soulful songs and blissful sounds. The sea of cheerful personalities at the cathedral listened with rapt attention as Reverend Dr. James Olushala Odedeji, the Bishop, Douses of Lagos West, summarized on why it is essential to leave a good legacy. Our faithful departed father and friend, Clement Adekule Odokone, was an outstanding Nigerian, distinguished himself in all areas of his endeavor, extremely kind and friendly. I never saw him losing his temper. Past two and a half decades, I have known him very stable and calm. Prayers were offered for Baba's family. Farewell presentation was made by the Christian Friends Society. <laughs> then the service drew to a close as Baba's casket was dollied out of the church for a final rest. Guests thereafter made their way to Upper Point, Victoria Island, for the big party organized to celebrate the life and time of Clem, as fondly called by friends. They were warmly welcomed by good music, which filled the entire arena. Guests also settled to the pleasurable viewing of Baba's life documentary, which illustrated is a eventful sojourn on earth. Even as his children and his wife, Omoni Oluwokande, were wonderful hosts. The ambience, lit in shades of blue, 
with corresponding blue Ankara that unified the guests. The burial reception, which was organized and planned by Lagos-based event planner, Eventful, had a touch of wonder, from settings to sittings, and ultimately servicing of invitees. Barista Ebuayo, a niece to the deceased, led the onslaught of Idore descendants to do adequate justice to the music of Rotimi Akinla Milo. Soon, Faith Band took over the driver's seat and ensured everyone had a jolly ride with danceable music. <laughs> One after the other, the children stepped up to the music of Faith Band. <laughs> Thereafter, Barista Ebo, a Royal Sisters Club members, and her other friends hit the dance floor. <laughs> Some of the children, families and friends spoke to Red Carpet TV. A man that is hardest to the core, a man that has seen the outcome of his profession and he has been able to leave a legacy of hard work, perseverance, a life that everybody should continue to pray for. A wonderful man, a great father, a loving husband, a wonderful grandfather. A man who was selfless in everything he did, he put people first and ensured the goodwill of the people always trumps the decision-making process. It's a great loss, but as they say, his race is run. We are comforted with the fact that he's in a better place. And we hope that we will meet one day in the same place to smile, to laugh, to see that he's a mischievous smile. Very intentional father. He had a very unique relationship with every single one of his children. A very hands-on grandfather, even though we'll miss him, the kind words that people have spoken since his passing sort of ease the pain and um, his legacy lives on and he makes us proud. I'm extremely proud to be his daughter. Oh, Kande epitomizes his class. He's an exceptional uncle. It's a man that you know, uh, it will be as if you have known 100 men. I will greatly miss my uncle. I will greatly miss my uncle. I will greatly miss my uncle. I love my uncle so much. From the Red Carpet TV crew, we say good night to Clement Adekunle Olowo Konde. Thank you for watching Red Carpet TV Nigeria. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel.